Welcome back to 52 Moments, where I answer things like, Who are you? Or, Were you always like this? Or even, What makes you tick? As best I can. Along the way, I hope you'll learn more about me. So, let's get to it. This episode is called The Profs. And I'm just going to talk about two of the professors that really steered my undergraduate years. When I started my undergrad, my goal was to become a high school math teacher. And I was going to do that by getting an undergrad degree with a math major and an English minor, and then go back to get my teaching certificate. But math killed me. I literally could not get through calculus. I got an F the first time and a D the second time. The D meant I didn't have to take it again and I could still get credit for it, but it also meant I couldn't go further without getting a higher grade. I pivoted. I had taken a history course in first year as an elective on a whim. And that was an intro to, to American history and it was taught by Dr. Brian W. Dippy. Yes, that's his real name. Yes, he asked us to get all our laughs out about it on the first day. <laughs> he had this wonderful voice, very much like uh, at like an AM radio DJ, which is good because he liked to have his classes at 8.30 in the morning. I super enjoyed the class. He had a great wit to him, which also came through in his lectures. And I learned lots. He didn't grade overly hard, but he wasn't, it wasn't a cakewalk, but he was a nice happy medium as far as grading went. Um, on that note, I had one prof that said, I will mark your essays by throwing them down the stairs. The heaviest ones will reach the bottom and they will get the higher grades. And based on the B minus that I got in that class, I am pretty sure he actually followed through with that grading. But that is neither here nor there. I only took the one class with that guy. Um, so Dr. Dippy was one of the profs. I ended up taking a number of classes on various aspects of American history with him and they were all fascinating. Uh, the history of the West that I did, um, I ended up focusing on dude ranching and the promotion of dude ranching, uh, specifically through the railroad and um, return visits and all of that, all that kind of word of mouth stuff that was really important back then. And I still kick myself because at the time I finished that paper, Dr. Dippy was one of the men, one of the editors for the Journal of the West. It was a very prestigious academic journal, and he suggested that I actually send that paper in, and I didn't. And I still kick myself over that, because it would have been a really nice publication credit. But you live and learn. Um, the other prof I found starting in second year, Dr. Timothy Haskett, he does medieval studies. And some of the classes he would teach with a partner, Dr. Mulcahy, uh, but some of them that I took with him just by himself. My favorite class was probably the paleography class in which we learned how to read various medieval scripts, how to transcribe a manuscript, that sort of thing. And that has served me very well all through life. It has been unbelievably helpful in uh, trying to understand a doctor's note um, or any other kind of handwriting that anyone can hand me. Because after you've read High Merovingian script, you can pretty much read anything. Um, so Dr. Haskett also had one of those soothing voices. Uh, he and Dr. Mulcahy also were big fans of Monty Python, so that would show up in the classes as well. Um, for sure, they were focused on social history much more than names and dates of kings and queens and that sort of thing, which was also what I loved about it. Um, 
So when I tell people I have a history degree, the question is always, oh, what kind of history? Like, what was your specialty? Where, where, what was your focus? And then I'm like, well, <laughs> it's medieval history and history of the West. Uh, because the other classes that I took, a lot of them focused on uh, BC history. Um, so I took uh, the intro classes and um, I did a directed studies on the uh, Inner Harbor. So I just got, <laughs> I got strangely bogged down in my research on that with the dredging of the harbor. And Honestly, it's it's not even a little ironic that that's where I got stuck because that's also where the city got stuck. <laughs> like for years they tried to make the inner harbor deep enough for large boats and it or large ships and they just couldn't. So that's why we have the breakwater and why any of the large cruise ships stop out there rather than in the inner harbor. Um we get the coho in there and that's about the biggest ship you're going to get in there. So, um, so yeah, that, that was my, my undergraduate degree. I ended up with a minor in English because I refused to, to tear apart Shakespeare. I had wanted no part in that. Um, and my, my English classes were pretty random and largely based on how big the reading list was. Um, there were a couple of exceptions on that because there were some profs that I really was interested or some classes I was really interested in. The best class I took for English was probably the one I did on Robert Louis Stevenson. And uh, the prof for that was a New Yorker who was normally teaching at the University of Hawaii. And he did a year at UVic uh, as a sort of, I don't know, academic exchange or something. Um, and he was fantastic. Uh, and that class, I got, I got an A in it because it was just fun. And I loved it. But now you know another little bit about me. And I hope you'll come back again next time. Thanks. Bye.